they're either going to wind down in their law school experience or they're going to push to the end. And they're only going to push to the end if we put them in that kind of situation where they have to do it in order to excel and in order to get out. The reason we do it is because we want them to know what they're capable of. And unless we put them under pressure, unless we give them the opportunity to find out for themselves that they're capable of a lot more than what they ever dreamed of, they're not going to do it. They may be training to go into the courtroom, they may be training to go into contract negotiations, they may be training to go into Congress. Whatever they're doing though, we've got people coming here that expect to be leaders. And to be a leader, you've got to stand up and deliver and there's no finer training than what we do. Practice court is a six month immersion. During that six month time period, I and the other professors involved in the practice court program basically have the students completely. And in that time period, they live, eat, breathe litigation, uh, litigation skills training and the, the law that relates to litigation. I start teaching at 745 every morning. Uh, they're there, they're absolutely there. And we're typically going with them or with groups of them every afternoon into the evening hours in advocacy training. So we have, we have them completely immersed in it for a six month time period. And during that time period, they're having to deal with classroom training issues and simultaneously try cases. But because every one of them go through it, there is, there, there is no option to slack off. They know that they have to do this in order to succeed. Seeing the difference between the beginning and the end in two regards, one in their confidence level, knowing they can do it, and the other is the relationships that develop. They come in, I don't know them. By the end, these are people that I care about.